don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello everyone, Tom here again, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at the Zeta Toys. This is their Superatron Mini version, uh, the first one, Down Thrust. Now, uh, this is the Autobot Air Raid from the original uh, toy line. So here's the front of the box, side of the box, back of the box, side of the box, top and bottom. I'll go ahead and get him out of the box and we'll take a look at him. So let's see about getting him out of the box. And let's see here. I'm still on location in Denver, so that's why we have these uh, different, a uh, different review table, let's call it that. So I apologize in advance. Let's see here. So this thing, oh wow, is packaged empty box for those of you who who like that kind of thing this thing is packaged with instructions and in foam those of you who have uh, watched my channel for any time know that I really appreciate this foam packaging I know some people don't care for the packaging but for me it represents uh, care for the uh, the figure so these feel like guns and they would be okay so setting that aside we get our first look at our very first weapon here I hope that's in focus yeah it's just a, a little small pistol and he has two of them and here is the figure himself nice color scheme uh, has some some significant weight to it there's some die cast in here somewhere uh, these are apparently faux wheels, and that's a faux wheel as well. So yeah, it's 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 not going to roll. It'll slide on this table, but it's not going to roll. Let's see. I need to find out exactly where the Autobot symbol should go, and I'll do that here probably before final thoughts. So just looking at this thing. First impressions, oh, I love this blue paint. Um, again, I'm on location, so I don't have my spudger. I love this blue paint. I love the, the yellow here needs a, probably another coat. But then I question whether or not we really want it to be so shiny that that's what stick, sticks out. Metallic paint, uh, this is a different kind of paint. This is painted, yeah, it uh, looks like the cockpit should open, and it does. There's nothing in it, but it does open, so yeah. Let's see here, the weapons, that's a square peg, or a square handle. Yeah, it's not going to fit in there, and honestly, I don't think it, it should, that's a round thing. And that's a square peg. Although, I imagine, yeah, um, I don't think they're supposed to go there, but you could probably get by with putting one of the, uh, you know, storing the, the stuff there. All right, so there's not a whole lot more to talk about this thing in, in vehicle mode. This thing is awful flippity flappy. All right, not much to talk about in vehicle mode. Why don't we go ahead and do scale comparisons, then we will go into transformation and eventually final thoughts. So we're going to start, we're going to put him in robot mode. 
and once we're in robot mode, uh, we'll put him back into jet mode and then transform him into his leg mode. So first thing we do is we take this little flap right here and we just flip it around. One thing I have noticed is that you'll need a spudger or at least some type of prying tool to get these little bits right here out. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Uh, unhook this right here. Okay. Come back here to the tail section and pull it up. It is connected on these little black pieces here and these little connections here. Just move it out of your way. Now take your Sorry about that, folks. Um, I got a call from my daughter. She's in, uh, and she's the reason we're here in Denver, and I had to take it. So it's, it, it, sorry. Anyway, here we are. We're back here. So far, what we've done is we have moved this. We've moved this. We're about to take our tool here and slip underneath here so that we can uh, lift this bit right here up on both sides. Now we can split the legs, just like this, and they will just pull down, like this. Go ahead and move this up out of the way. Now, come here, open this up, and rotate this around, and this is your foot, right here, just like that right there. Pull this section down, it's on a, a double hinge, if you all can see in there, it's on a double hinge, and it will connect right here, like that and up here at the top as well. This is on a ball peg, rotate it down, bolt that down, and that's a leg and a foot all done. Let's do this again. So we're gonna pull this down and it's going to connect here and up here inside. And it'll just stay there at that point, rotate that down and fold that down so that the color part is uh, facing the leg itself. And that's, uh, that's the bottom half all done, believe it or not. Come here, open up this, pull out his arms rather, and there's a, a flank piece that pops out when you do that. It's very nice, very nice. I like how they've got that, that done. Extend your arms, pull out his little hands, pull it down, and yeah, now he's got arms, just like that, right there. Come here and separate these two pieces, which will allow this to rotate back, and you can pull out his head, like this, and put it into place. Lastly, we bring this part Back, and it will hug up on a double hinge right there and then we need to rotate this around without knocking that off it's on a series of hinges and the end result should be theoretically uh, these bits right here are going to plug in to this right here so however I have to do to make that work uh, goodness me this rotates yep that's it right there and then this will just come in and go in theoretically just like that and that's very very secure right there and then this comes back in here and just plugs in and here is uh, down thrust in his robot mode. And he's okay. Um, he's not bad at all. Let's see here. Can we get a good look at that head sculpt? Yeah. Nice paint. Um, his eyes are painted metallic. That's nice. This is paint. Uh, this is paint flat plastic, this is paint, paint, yeah, this is what he looks like at the side and at the back. I keep thinking there should be something to do with this, but I can't seem to find anything at the moment. 
let's see. The head is on a ball peg, so you can actually see it right there, maybe. Looks like he's got light piping. Yeah, that's light piping, but his eyes are painted. Yeah, that does nothing for him, for his eyes. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the head can go all the way around. It can go up to there. Uh, if you start breaking the sculpt, it can go down further. The arms can go all the way around, out, so he can definitely go wee. Elbow is a little limited. Uh, that is the extent of the bend right there. And the wrists can go in and out. They do not rotate. There is no ab crunch. You get two hip flaps here. Feels like die cast. He can go that far forward and that far back. So he's not getting the full Chinese splits or the American splits. He does get the full Chinese splits, so no problem there. Thigh rotation is built around this mushroom peg right here. So yeah, it's stiff, but it is there. Knee. Uh, he doesn't get the best range on his knee, and when it comes back, he's going to bump into his backpack, so just be mindful. And the feet can go up, they can go all the way down, and then you get a rocker. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, this guy's articulated fairly well. So I'll tell you what, uh, we will do scale comparison right here. And then we will uh, come back and we'll transform him into his uh, combined mode as a leg. And th from that point, we will go into, uh, we won't do any more scale comparisons. We'll just go into final thoughts. So putting him into combined mode is actually very simple. Uh, you, you will want to have him in uh, this configuration, the jet mode. So go ahead and flip this back. And I already know what's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I'm just, I'm going ahead and doing it. I don't think it's meant to come off, but I don't care. Flip your wings around so that they're like this. However, you have to get them to this point and then flip that in like that so we're we're rotating our wings around here again however it, you have to do it to get it there fold that in fold that in so that it looks like this unhinge this unhinge this this is going to come back this is going to rotate on that double hinge and just kind of stay right there. Okay, I've got it. All right, that's better. All right, that comes in. This comes in and it plugs back in. And then because it's already fallen off, go ahead and push this back together. And this represents his foot mode. I'm not, there we go. All right, I don't, I don't know. I'm really of two minds about fixing that permanently. Uh, it, it's so much easier just with it falling off. But yeah, here's the uh, here's the combined mode and he's going to be a, a leg. I think it's the left leg, isn't it? Regardless, here it is. Simple, easy, and what do you say we go into final thoughts? <laughs> Hey Tom, there's something wrong with this. Is that a Decepticon? It doesn't look like one. Oh wait, they're aerial bots, aren't they? Yes, Nemesis, they're aerial bots. Good waste of jet, if you ask me. What, you're not gonna throw me? Well, since you asked. <laughs> 
So final thoughts wise, uh, I have to begin by saying this is uh, G1 Skydive. I've been calling him Air Raid and I've just, I've been wrong and I apologize. But this figure is interesting. I paid, I think, $40 for, for him and I bought him from uh, TF Source. So that's why it's taken a little bit longer to get this review up. Uh, I just got him this week. The uh, plastic quality feels good. Nothing feels like it's going to break on you necessarily. Uh, there's some really intricate engineering that goes on here that I really like. Um, the paint is good. The articulation is okay. Uh, he's, he's basically, uh, honestly, a triple changer if you count turning into a leg as part of his uh, transformation. Yeah, I, I think he's fine. I think he's abjectly fine. If he was my first Transformer, I would be intrigued enough to buy more and concerned enough about parts that fall off, a.k.a. You know, yeah, I would be concerned about that. But other than that, yeah, it's it's a recommend for me simply because uh, if you're like me, you want a Superion that's, yeah, for the longest time on my shelf, has been the Combiner Wars one, and you'd kind of like to see one that's a little bit different. Anyway, this is Tom. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review. And thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. Are you tired all the time? Do you run out of energon for no apparent reason? Do other robots laugh at you and call you weakling? Do you feel like there should be more to life than what you are experiencing? Then you should try Vitamin John. It is the world famous Energon supplement. No steroids whatsoever. We all use all natural products. Steroid, I mean the Vitamin John can turn losers like this one. Hey. Poof. Into magnificent specimens like these. Hey there, big boy. You want to come over and see me sometime? <laughs> so try Vitamin John today. Operators are standing by.